guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aquatope on White Sands. Before we get going, make sure you guys are subscribed. Any day now, my box will arrive and you're going to get the Halloween special spectacular from the Clockwork Dandy Needles where we're going to unbox the Tokyo Treat box together, see what goodies lay within. One of them is anime themed, trying to keep it themed for the channels. I used to unbox the Oyatsu box back in the day in case you weren't around back in those days of the channel but that used to be the big thing. Going back to my old format for a little bit. Bear with me as you have to put up with seeing me for a little bit too. I apologize. There's also a Discord channel too for you guys to get notifications whenever videos go up on the channel. This allows you to know when my midway review goes up and good news I have started making progress. I have my top three OPs fixed, locked in. They're not moving anymore. I'm done with those. I've started working on the top three anime of the halfway point and my EDs I'm just faffing around with. So I'm nearly there. I'm nearly ready to present to you guys. Can't wait to show you what I think. There's also going to be the big review at the end of the season, as always, where we can see how it's changed, how different are my halfway point feelings to the end feelings. I imagine it's going to change quite a bit. There's been a lot of changing already. Well, let's get going. This is a very different episode. It's a complete change of pace. And we actually open on perhaps the most realistic scene in the whole anime. Two friends trying to work out when their next days off actually cross. This I feel. I feel this right here. This is hello, welcome to adult life. Your days off are actually when I'm working. I'm sorry I can't go out. I apologize. That there is reality. I think it's a much needed break from the office and the aquarium drama. I think I needed this break. I really needed it. And it also feels like forever since we actually had a fun episode, an episode which was laid back. And there's no tension in this episode, apart from fun bits where it's played off as fun. There isn't any tension this week as well. And I think they might have done that on purpose because maybe even they realised that last week's episode was very heavy. I felt meh after last week's episode. It feels like a while as well, me personally, since I had a day off just to actually do nothing. If you don't know about me, I have two jobs because I'm freelancing on one of them. I am an idiot who seems to keep booking work on days off. So my days off turn into work and it's really biting me in the butt, especially this season as well, where anime is coming out left, right and centre. I need to slap blue period in the face for coming out every four days or so that's really messing up the schedule that's why there's no schedule update on the channel because it's impossible to keep track of at the moment but this week we have a fun chilled episode with our characters getting together new characters old characters i miss some of the older characters it feels like a while since we've seen them marina is a girl after my own heart because i too also like meat and i would be the happily being a food tester i that, that's like the best job in the world being a food taste tester i think her design is really really nice and i really do get the whole really carefree aspect the way she looks and the way she's been designed it's a great chillax episode allows us to just chill out with characters which also allows them to talk naturally it allows them to actually just talk in general so when we're asking about why marina is a attendant that feels natural that doesn't feel like a conversation that comes out of nowhere we're relaxing it's what you would do if you were in a room with someone you're not quite familiar with you would ask them a few questions to break the ice break the tensions it's a nice info dump without it being an info dump on us Fuka also gets a bit of screen time this week, which I miss because I miss Fuka in general. But we get a lesson from her idle days of how to look after your skin. Kuya as well. I just feel like we haven't seen Kuya and some of these characters for quite a while. Kuya is a fun character. And I love that he's overcoming his fear of girls really, really slowly. And obviously he dropped out of school because of bullying and because of rumours around girls. Ends up giving him some trauma so it's really nice that he comes in i would be really curious though why everyone has the same half day off theoretically we saw how rare it was that fuka and just having cuckoo matching up i figured it was the aquarium must be closed or something it's not because we see marina going off to work at the end it's really really rare i think the most unbelievable aspect is that every single one of these characters had the same day off to at least interact at some point that's the most unrealistic element of this episode the scene with the food taste testing it just made me really jealous i really wish that i knew a cook or someone would ask me to be a uh, feedback for testing their foods but the overkill on the crit criticism was hilarious and i just felt so bad for udon chan just like i've had enough i can't take anymore please stop kuya bowing out in the most hilarious fashion i didn't actually realize he was drunk until they mentioned what he was drinking so it just seemed like he just bowed out for no reason 
goes to go and pee in a park, I think. Kuya went to go pee in a park and he never comes back. It took me a while to click that he was actually drunk. I was happy that we had a slight break from Highborough. She is now in the second half of the episode and we're all friends now, which is what I figured would happen. That in itself just feels a little bit tiny bit unrealistic that it's just, now we're all happy friends again, that's fine. But I would have crowned this anime, anime of the year. If Cuckoo had turned around right at this moment in the anime and just stabbed her, went all killer, just killer psycho, a nice change of genre really, really quickly into a slasher for Halloween. Right there, I would have given it anime of the year. I, I would love this to go into horror form though, because some of these faces are absolutely hilarious when the, the surprise massage is sprung upon them. I would love this. And it, I think it might be the fact that I really want a horror comedy that isn't Moroku-chan because you're ruining all of the horror aspects by showing me her pants or her boobs. I, I get fan service, guys, but it's supposed to be a horror. I can't get into the horror if I'm just in her downstairs half the time. I think I am longing for a horror comedy. So if you know a good horror comedy, put it down below. One that I preferably haven't seen already. Kuya's return. This is probably my favourite screenshot of the entire season. These guys. I miss these guys. It's the vibe of this episode replicates the vibe of season one. And season one had a lot of this, this these cool interactions. The team obviously felt a bit more together. I really want more of this. I, I want more of this and less of last week. I miss these elements that we had a lot of from season one. I also miss the cooking elements that we saw in season one and now in this episode as well. Just small details that I really do miss. That Again, the Bonito flakes are dancing upon the takoyaki because of the heat. Little tiny things like that I just miss. It just feels like we've had so much drama and high tension and just not so uncomfortable niceness. We just missed out on some of this stuff. Umiya! Umiya, I really miss this guy as well. I even miss this guy. And the fact that he is married, I really wasn't expecting that. I didn't think he would be. He didn't make any hints that he was in season one. I also love how Kuya calls him a god when he sees him. I feel like that. He gives off these kind of godly vibes. I, I like him. I, I miss him. I really miss him. Since we've moved aquariums, we don't really seem to have the same social aspect or the really nice, comfortable environment. And I think someone even says, I think it's Marina. Marina says that both aquariums are good, but she does state that Gamma Gamma felt relaxed and comfortable. That's the atmosphere that I miss. This is an episode that really does hark back to the good vibes of season one. And I I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than last week, guys. And I have come away from the ledge. I'm breathing better now. I'm, I thank you, guys. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves, having a good day. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And I will see you guys again next week. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.